This is episode three. My name's Tess Protesta. And I'm Paul Richards. Today is going to be all about two cameras from our camera product line, the 10XA and the 3XA. Yep, we've got them right here in front of us. And these cameras in particular are part of our USB 2.0 family that we've been talking so much about. You may have seen our last show about the HuddlePod Air Duos, which are the wireless USB 2.0 speakerphones. You might have saw our show about the HuddleCam Go, which uh, congratulations to Andrew Hoover who won last week. I wonder who's going to win this week. Yeah, we are giving another one Today. away. And if you haven't signed up for that yet, head to huddlecamhd.com slash show, and you can do so there. And this is our most popular camera uh, ever. If, if you've ever heard of this, probably most of you out there may have this camera, the HuddleCam 3X. It's only $399, and it's 3X optical zoom, 1080p, just USB 2.0. This product was so popular that we decided to take the same USB 2.0 body but give it a wider base with a dual microphone array so that it can be a microphone and a camera. And it's now available in a 3X and a 10X model for different lenses. And we're going to show the operation, the video, and everything with Zoom today. And Tess is actually going to put the Zoom link in the chat at some point. We're going to invite you guys to come on the show. We're going to have a little conversation. It's going to be a fun time. So let's talk a little bit about these products, Tess, and then we'll jump into the live demonstration and then, of course, the giveaway, which I know a lot of you are waiting for with the Huddle Cam Go. So our first show was the Huddle Cam Go. Our second show was the Huddle Pod Air Duos. Now we're dump jumping into our 3XA and 10XA models. Um, tell me a little bit about these cameras, Tess. So we know that the 3X is our most popular camera, so we figured why not make things even easier, less wires, uh, and include an audio source into a camera. So we started with the 3XA, 3X optical zoom, and we eventually moved on with our newest version, the 10XA, 10X optical zoom. These are USB 2.0 cameras. Very usable, easy plug and play. Um, they pull up as a webcam when you're using your meeting softwares. What is the reach on the audio for these? Cameras? I thought you were going to ask that, so I grabbed the HuddlePod Air to tell the full HuddleCam audio story while you were talking. Sorry if you guys heard a little screeching of boxes. I was pulling things <laughs> did out. A quick move there. But um, so basically, well, let's tell the story of HuddleCam HD's audio, and each one has different audio pickups. So I'll, I'll jump right in there. So here is the HuddlePod Air. This is our most popular audio product, and we haven't done a show specifically on it yet. This is it in white. It also comes in black. Black, but this product is a wireless USB 2.0 speakerphone. So it comes with, I've got it over there, but it actually shows it on the manual as well, a USB 2.0 dongle. So that plugs right into your computer and it gives you a wireless range of up to 25 feet from this. And this has roughly a 12 by 12 radius a pickup range, right? So a 12 foot area. Good for small to medium sized conference rooms. But a lot of people were saying that's great but I have a larger boardroom or a training room. I want it to be wireless. I don't want to have wires on the floor going from my USB speakerphone. So what we did is we came out with a dual chat pod. So now this can do basically two 12 by 12s, you know, two 10 by 10s yeah, roughly. More like 24 reach. 24 by reach. 20 ish or 10, 24 by 12, you know, so a, a long two 12 by 12 <laughs> together if you will. So this again, one wireless USB speakerphone. These are also speakerphones. So they have speakers and microphones, and then you can mute them individually, select which microphone you want to use. Then this is new. This is brand new. What we thought a lot, what we found was what a lot of people want to do is instead of using a speakerphone at the table, which does probably sound the best to save a lot of money, you can put it right in front of your television and have the audio, because this does have automatic echo cancellation, come from the television. So that's what we're going to show today, because mm -hmm. you've got your computer plugged in HDMI to the television, so you can have the audio come out the television. Your audio is your speaker, and then these become your microphones. And these have a, it's called a beam-forming microphone array, and it can pick up voices from at least 20 to 25 feet away. So with this camera, you're eliminating the need for a separate microphone and the purchase of a separate microphone because it is integrated within the camera. But once again, this camera is not a speakerphone. So we're going to pull the audio from the TV to mm -hmm. simplify things there today. 
Some people have TVs, some people have ceiling speakers, some people have sound bars. Uh, these HuddlePod Air products, you will be surprised at how loud they are. You probably heard them on our last live show. Pick one up for $2.99 on Amazon, you'll be surprised. It's got a three-year warranty, and you can practically drop the thing on the ground, and it's like rock solid. <laughs> so these are really great, but these 3XAs have a great audio pickup, and that's what we're going to show live today. It looks like Kevin has a, a live comment. He was just saying that he sees this used for home offices, and mm -hmm. he's trying to push that right now in his area. Just touching on the cameras a little bit more, they do come with an IR remote control because oh, yes. they are PTZ pan tilt zoom cameras. So you're able to move them just with um, some arrows on the remote. There's a slow zoom and a fast zoom function. You can also set presets. Where is my preset button? You can also set preset positions mm -hmm. um, with these cameras as well. So they're very versatile in terms of movement and um, z z z b b b b zoom capability. Yeah. You can have up to three cameras controlled by this remote as well. Just a little brief on the remote. Yep, so you'll get, with this camera, you will get a power supply, either the 3X or the 10XA model, 10XA is over here, and you will also get a USB 2.0 cable that's roughly 20 feet. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. Maybe so it's 12 volt powered. And 12 and volt then power. I would. It looks like it, it's a USB pretty big connection. USB cable. It looks like it's almost 16 feet. Let's say. Okay. Uh, it's definitely on our data sheet on our website, but it's a nice long USB 2.0 cable. And they're 1080p cable. video. 1080p Correct. video. Okay. The difference between our 3XA and 10XA cameras and the Huddle Cam Go is that these cameras do require a power supply mm -hmm. because they have a motor for pan tilt zoom. Okay, understood. The Huddle Cam Go is very simple. This is great for home use because it's USB 2.0 and it does power, video, and audio all over a single USB. No mm -hmm. need for a power supply. Right. And once again, they will appear in your meeting software as a webcam, and mm. the microphone will automatically appear as well as if it were just a separate microphone. Uh, are, do the drivers automatically install themselves when you plug in these cameras? They, they install one, one time. As soon as you plug it in, it will install the huddle cam drivers, and then you will never see that happen again. It will always pull up. And in fact, that's Because I didn't have we'll to show. do anything, so I was excited. It, sometimes it that. happens so fast that you don't even know it happens. So, you know, we say it basically doesn't have drivers. There's no custom drivers. Drivers. Okay. Um, Kevin is asking, will the PTZ camera work with integrated room setups? So with our USB 3 models, they all have uh, RS-232 in, and our actually our 3X model, as you can see here, also does have RS-232 in. Mm. So what that does is it allows you to use it with like a Crestron, an Xtron, an AMX integrated AV room setup where you can control the cameras with a touch screen, maybe have the camera zoom into a place with also has the lights and maybe the shades and the even temperature control they can do in some of these audiovisual setups. Um, so yes, you can with most of our models. With the 3XA and 10XA, in order to um, keep the low price point that we did, we actually went away with the RS-232 here, but we did build in control over USB. So that is an option, um, but the traditional analog RS-232 cabling is in the 3X, the 10X720, and all of our USB 3.0 models. Good question from Jim. Can the same remote used to be controlled to control the, the huddle cam cameras and the PTZ optics? No, cameras? those are separate IR um, controls with separate IR functionality, so I can even, yeah, it does not do anything with those cameras now. What's the warranty on these products as well? So the, all the Huddle Cam products are a two-year warranty except for the Huddle Pod Airs, which are three, and the Huddle Cam Go, which is three. So the, the really rugged products without any pan tilt zoom are all three, and the pan tilt zooms are all um, two. And you, there's an on-screen display menu with the Huddle Cam, uh, the 3XA, 10XA, or no? Let's check really quick. So let's jump into our demo. I'm going to have to check on the on-screen display menu. Um, so we can go ahead and uh, we'll get rid of this. And Tess is going to put the Zoom meeting number into uh, the chat on Facebook and YouTube so you guys can jump right into a meeting. Um, it looks like I'm going to pan this camera over here. And we'll go ahead and look right there. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see... Yes, it does have an on-screen display menu, as you can see here. And what that allows you to do, this is mirrored. 
Uh, if you hit the mirror button in Zoom, it would switch it, but we don't have to do that just yet. You can change the pan, tilt, and zoom speeds, the scan speeds, the tour speeds. Um, you can change the auto uh, flip, for example, the hertz, which is really important. I'm reading this backwards just because it needs to be flipped in Zoom, but that's okay. So yes, it does have an on-screen display menu. This is the 3X, and then we're going to plug in the 10XA as well, just to show the quality of the cameras. So anyone who's really interested can join the Zoom meeting. Steven is asking about using multiple HuddlePod Airs for multiple tables. So the HuddlePod Airs, the Duo, and the, these, are, these are all have a single USB connection. So you could put, if you have two tables, you can certainly put these on separate tables. And if table one wants to mute their microphone and table two would like to have theirs unmuted, for example, or vice versa, you can definitely do that. It looks like we have our first uh, caller who's joining, but you, these do not have separate USB connections. So it's one computer that gets connected to the HuddlePod Air or the HuddlePod Air Duo, not two. Those would be separate units. Ah, oh, it's Steve. Oh, great. We have somebody. It looks like Steve is Familiar joining. Familiar face. Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you? Hello there. <laughs> so, Tess, I think if you... So, what, what How is do you going want to on do here? This? What? What do you mean? What is going on? Why is there... Oh, look at that. Hi, Steve. How are you? Multiple me's. <laughs> are you saying because it's is full Steve screen? Is Steve in a separate meeting? Oh, I see. Here, double click the, the Zoom meeting. And then here, wait, oh, oh, I see. So it's because Zoom does this sometimes. So here, double click on this, the one of Steve. And, and okay. And then can you uh, right click it real quick? Huh. It's just kind of funny. So Steve is on a different screen than we are. Normally, but, they're side and by can side. You, uh, can you unmute Steve? Oh, no. So Steve's got himself muted. Okay. So, Steve, can you see us fine? Yeah, I can, I can see you fine. Okay. You, yeah, I, yeah, you, you, Steve, you're going to have to mute your, um, your YouTube or your Facebook. Oh, there well. you go. That's what we want. Full screen that. Yep. So anyone who's joining, I can see Kevin is joining as well. We want you to join. Thanks for being here. Just remember that you want to mute the Facebook or the YouTube um, that you're watching because um, now you are live. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for joining. How are you? And so, so Tess, do you know Steve? Have you worked with him before? He was on with us. Didn't you oh, come for the last show? Were you on the last show, Steve? It looks like you're muted, Steve. Yeah, I'm not sure which audio you want me to use. <laughs> I was I was down. I visited. Uh, no, it's. Oh, it looks like he's muted now. The streaming awards. Oh yes, right. Steve Steve um, met us with that. Well, that's awesome. So it's just a, this is just a fun way for us. Zoom to is thirty seconds behind. So he had to yes. mute himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so if you're joining live, just remember you, you don't have to mute yourself. You just need to mute YouTube and or and or Facebook. Just mute those. Then everything goes through Zoom, and you're in real time with us, which is kind of fun and cool. So, just yeah, the live show. Yeah, it's kind of like one or the other. Um, so Stephen says Stephen Smith says he has a room with nine tables. Can I plug a few of them into one computer? I think that he's talking about the huddle pods. Yes. That is not what they're made for, Stephen, unfortunately. Um, there is a way to mix different USB connections. Um, it might be something that we're looking into, but right now, these, the, really what these have been made for is a small to medium-sized room with a single USB connection, a small to like, medium to large room with two to a single uh, computer. But the, I'll pull out the, uh, the cable so you can see what it, what it looks like here. Um, this is what the receiver looks like, and I'll pull it out and show it. So basically, there's a receiver just like this, and it plugs in, and you can see here that, here we go, boop, 
It just plugs in USB to your computer. So it's a white receiver with the white unit, it's a black receiver with the black unit, and a gray with the gray. So the receivers always match. But that's how it plugs in there. So it's one per uh, set. It's really the way. So, so for larger systems, it's really not meant for that. The Phoenix audio units are great for that, though, because you can daisy chain like eight of them together. So what should we do? Should we keep meeting up? Should we, what do you want to do? So if anyone in the meeting has anything they want to add before we move on to our next system, I see that Sam's here. We haven't heard from Kevin yet. And uh, Steve, if there's anything you want to, to chime in, we're, we're happy to have you. Hi, Sam. Sam's chatting through the Zoom chat here. So we're here. using, so on the Zoom meeting, they should be able to hear the microphone from, is this the 3XI? From the 3XI. Yes, they should, yeah. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, audio and video uh, is coming through uh, perfect. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Awesome, thanks, Kevin. Um, ah, look, Sam, Sam's saying, I believe you know uh, his colleague, Jim Davis. Yes, I, we do yes, know him. Yes, Sam, we know Jim. He's great. Great, good to hear. And uh, we are having an open house uh, January 23rd for anyone who wants to come out and, and visit us here at our studio. Yes, yeah, Steve, um, if you want to check out the new place. It looks like Stephen Smith is saying that he's looking at some of these flipped classrooms and we haven't found a good way to use the audio. The flipped classrooms are quite interesting. What's that? And, um, oh, it's so, it's, honestly, Stephen, I don't know if you could just give us a chat of what the flipped classroom is. I've read about it and it was a little while ago, but essentially it's kind of flipping the traditional classroom where the teacher's up front and doing like kind of like a one-way presentation. Yeah. They flip it so that the students are really doing like mini presentations to the class in groups. And so that it's, it's terrifying. called the, the flipped classroom. And I think it's more for like higher education where the, t the students are really working hard in a collaborative Grad group. Grad students maybe or something. Yeah, and like they're project is being brought to the table for everyone to benefit from. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for, for joining. This. This a perfect application. Appreciate it. Project-based learning, Sam is saying. It looks like Sam's oh, here project -based in the learning. chat. So thank you so much for for doing uh, for joining everybody. That's pretty much been our show. It's, it's just about time to do our live giveaway. And Tess, you could probably pull it up right here yeah. on the Gleam. Um, so if you haven't, uh, you got just a couple minutes left to, to join this giveaway. Bye, Bye Sam. Bye, Kevin. Um, if you'd like to join the giveaway, it is uh, at huddlecamhd.com slash show. And that is where we do the giveaway. Um, and Tess is going to pull it up right here. Someone's going to win. Uh, let's see. Here it is here. Win a Huddle Cam Go. And... We're going to go ahead and pull a winner. Um, seven minutes left. I think everyone who's joined has already joined, so we'll go ahead and pull the winner for this one. Um, we're going to draw the winner. Someone's going to win this Huddle Cam Go. Thanks so much for joining and drawing and being part of this, everybody. We're going to pull five winners. you got to be here in the chat. Jim Ange. Jim Ange. Are you here? Tech in the City. He was here earlier. He was here earlier? Okay, good. Aloha, Jim. Aloha, Jim. Hopefully Chime you're here. Chime in so we can send you this HC Go. George hey, is George. late, but he's here. Thanks for joining, George. Lewis, what's up? Happy to have you. Very excited to be here. Today's a fun show. ESFT is saying instruction delivered to the students via video first. Then when the students gather for classroom, the in-person instructor explains upon the previously video delivered content. I see. I Jim see. That's is here. The flip Congrats, Jim. Jim. Is We're going to send you this HC Go. Congratulations, Jim. Happy to have you here. Thanks so much for joining. That's the show. We're going to do a little bit of a post-show Q&A um, at the table here. So if you've got questions, we're going to roll the credits, answer any questions that you have, and then we're looking forward to our next show. What's our next show on, Tess? It's on live meetings. Oh, And yes. that's with our sister company, PTZ Optics. So you can head over to that page at 2 if you want to tune in for that. But thank you guys so much for joining us. If you want to chat more, be sure to join our Facebook user group, facebook.com slash groups slash huddlecam HD. We'll see you in the post show, guys. Bring the questions in. We're excited to, to answer them.